Alfred P. Sloan, legendary auto industry titan and innovator, GM CEO, and founder of the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation, and the Sloan Kettering Institute for Cancer Research. Number one. Alfred was born in New Haven, Connecticut in 1875. Later in his childhood, Alfred moved with his parents and five younger siblings to Brooklyn, New York. Alfred excelled in school, and after completing a college prep course, he applied to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. However, MIT refused his application because he was too young. Number two. Alfred was allowed to enroll when he was 17. He earned a degree in electrical engineering in just three years. After graduating, Alfred struggled to find a job. The country was still reeling from an economic depression as a result of the Panic of 1893, and jobs were scarce. Number 3. Alfred's father, using his contacts, was able to secure a job for his son as a draftsman at the Hyatt Roller Bearing Company. Hyatt was doing poorly, and Alfred soon left to work at a refrigeration company. He also married his wife, Irene. Number four. Shortly after, the refrigeration company failed. Alfred's father's influence was instrumental once again. When presented with the opportunity to purchase the Hyatt Company, Alfred's father, along with a friend, put up the $5,000 to purchase the failing organization. Alfred returned to Hyatt and turned the company around. United Motors, a company under the General Motors umbrella, purchased Hyatt for an astonishing $13.5 million, with Alfred becoming the president of United Motors. Number five. Alfred almost left General Motors in 1920 because he was frustrated with the management of the company by Billy Durant. When Pierre Dupont took over as GM president, Alfred seized the opportunity to submit a report with his ideas on how he thought GM should be organized. Impressed, Pierre made Alfred his assistant. In 1923, Alfred replaced Pierre as president. As a young man, Alfred always wanted a car, but they had been too expensive. Under Alfred's management, GM produced a varied array of cars for every purse and budget. Unlike other auto manufacturers of the time, GM focused on what the customer really wanted. Number 6. In 1934, Alfred established the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation, which continues to empower individuals in the STEM-related research and education fields. In 1945, along with Charles F. Kettering, he founded the Sloan Kettering Institute for Cancer Research, ranked as the number two hospital for cancer care in the U.S., according to U.S. News and World Report. Number seven. In 1947, the Automotive Hall of Fame presented Alfred with the Distinguished Service Citation Award. He was inducted as a member in 1967. Today, the Sloan School of Management at MIT educates innovative leaders who improve the world and is one of the world's top business schools. The management principles that Alfred implemented at GM were so effective that in 1998, over 30 years after Sloan's death, Fortune magazine listed GM as number one on their list of top 500 American enterprises. Like and subscribe. New videos every week. Check out the SDH Legend Library in the description below. SuccessfulDailyHabits.com Learn from legends. Be legendary.